Um, I do have our first demo ever. <sighs> this was recorded in Travis's base room, base basement, bedroom, bedroom. On a Boss BR8 using zip drives. I bet all you kids don't even know what a zip drive is. So it was like 100 megabits max on that thing. I couldn't sing high. 13. Like, you think kids would have a high voice, I just had a really low voice. <laughs> Someone just stopped playing. I think this is me, Brent Young on guitar, Jared Bonaparte on bass, Travis on drums. There's a like chorus on the guitar the whole time. I brought the tears! We mixed it on a Boss BR8. This thing was cost like a thousand bucks. This blue thing. I think we individually tracked two. I think. I, I can't really remember. This is a real drum kit, obviously. We could, we could highlight this. We can put this on YouTube. I just couldn't sing high. I want to send this to Mustaine. I've told him about it. See, I was 13. It was in Travis's bedroom. I think we put, like, pillows in his kick drum. He was in a band called Pedal before Trivium. Like, this, like, pre-emo emo band. I wasn't good yet. Like, it's hard. I haven't shown Mustaine this yet. I want to. Take it away, Marty! What about the part everyone knows? <laughs> I think my guitar was like down here too. Is Kirk Hammett playing on a Mega Death cover? How'd that go? 13, yes, I was 13 years old. It's like right when I joined the band, right when Brad left. Yeah, right when Brad left. I think we recorded this to try out for Crane's Roost Bow the Bands to play in this like public amphitheater out by the mall. And we made it in, we played, we didn't win. Double bass, baby! We did not win. No. Did we get second place? <sighs> this was my tryout song. <laughs> 13. This is Jared Bonaparte on bass. 
me on guitar, I think Brent Young also on guitar. He was actually a guitar player for like a month before a bass player. Travis on drums, me on vocals. I still couldn't sing high. So if I recall, this does not sound good, vocally. We even got some reverb on that snare drum. Who's that bass tone? You don't even like, you only hear the sub bass. I think he was playing an Ibanez, like this matte black five string thing. I vaguely remember it now. This is right after, so the band existed. Brad, a different Matt, Jared and Travis. Matt left before they ever practiced. I tried it for the band with this song, made it into the band. We played Battle of the Bands. Brad wanted to be industrial, wanted to be metal. Brad left, gave us the name. We kept the song Thrust and then wrote a couple more songs. This is our first demo once Brad has left. I don't think we have anything with Brad recorded. There might be like one VHS. And it was when I could play that riff that everyone was like, all right, this kid's got it. So I'm 13. I think Travis, Brent, and Jared are all 16, 17. Oh, holy cow. Michelle just sent me the picture. I don't know if you'll be able to see this. It's amazing. We use the YouTube thumb. Brad, Jared, me, and Travis. Um, you know what? I'll email this to myself and show this to you. Holy long intro. Michelle, I need all that stuff. You hear how hard that is to hit? Thirteen. It is. Let me get my face back. That's the original lineup right there, ladies and gentlemen. Brad, Jared, me, and Travis. So this would have been, this picture's right before this demo. Because Brad obviously left. Yup, ball chain necklace and all. So I'm in eighth grade and these are all high school kids. So I think he, junior, 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 or junior, senior, senior. I think that's what it was. Junior, senior, senior, something like that. version, Cunning Stunts version. You can hear my voice just dying. So we did another BR8 demo a couple months later. Another BR8 demo. So this is, I think this is still me, Brent, Jared, and Travis. So Travis on drums, Brent on rhythm guitar, me on lead guitar, Brent on bass. So this picture you're looking at, I'm 13. Travis must be 16, 17. I think these dudes are all 16, 17, and I'm 13. Ready? <laughs> it sounds like an Alice in Chains bar band cover special on like a local rock radio station. Hey, what's up? This is Stevie from the Rat Flex, and we're about to listen to Alice Does Chains covering This Love by Tampora. We got two for one shots for all ladies out there tonight. Ladies drink free. Two for one, but free. We got t shirt potato cannon just shooting out to the crowd. We got the water cannon gun going on after that. And I'm, um, I'm Stevie, the, 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 the shit. Yo, hey. I, 
This might oh. just be me and vocals. Oh, you keep this Teen angry? Definitely sound like a young band, but maybe 13, 14? I am not. Definitely sounds like a local band. Once again, this is this big rat man. We're about to listen to Alice Does Chains playing Tampora's This This Love. We got two for one. Here they go, boys. This is the first. No, so this is the first version of Thrust. This is in drop B, actually. I think I played this on a, it was drop B on a Fender import six string with EMGs in it. And then this is the next version. It sounds worse somehow, a couple months later. This is before I got super into like I didn't know much metal So all I really heard was the radio And all singers on the radio From the mid to early 90s All the way till now So that's probably where that's from And then here's the next thrust version That was recorded at MT Studios We just kept recording thrust Thrust was our greatest hit and then we did a thing at this place called The Metal Shop and some other guys recorded our converted garage studio. Good with tempos. This is where the scream started to develop. I might have been... 15? This one should have been on Ab Initio. This is pretty good. Oh, the original Sworn. This might have been the power metal version I was talking about. This was done at the metal shop. This would have been me on all guitars and vocals, Travis on drums, I think Brent on bass. This is when we were a three piece. Pretty sure. I don't know if I sing this version or scream this version. No. Oh. That voice sounds better. The singing is... I remember singing is something I struggled with forever. So we're three-piece, I believe. And then here's Demon. This was recorded at someone's home studio. It's actually recorded at... It sounds painful. 
This is when I start getting like death metal and stuff, obviously. We should re release all this. Nah, we shouldn't release this stuff. And we did another demo at the old full sale when it was just like a big hanger. And there's songs you would have never heard. This is recorded live. This is where three pieces me, all guitars and vocals, Brent on bass, and Travis on drums. This is recorded live on like a soundstage at full sale. Hell of a mix. Just guitars all on the left. My voice is really rough on this, because I think we've been playing for like two hours at this point. I think the bass is on the right side and the guitar is on the left side, like a Van Halen mix. I was like 16. This is when I was like, we're kind of like a death thrash band. It's a bad clean singing. I could, the voice was shot. That was brand. That's the sound of laryngitis, ladies and gentlemen. It's Brent taking it away. Very original song title. It's called Blitzkrieg. Not unlike the cover that Metallica did of a different band. And then I think we played the song War after this. I was into like kind of dissonant sounding thrashy death metal stuff. Rain, Blitzkrieg, War. I think I forgot it. My solo keeps going here. So we used to play the bar circuit. That's a cool riff, though. Now, where's War? I think it's right here. So I think Corey was either at this thing or was a fan of our band already because he was going to Full Sail. We did this this thing at Full Sail. This is War. Oh. I think the snare's on this side and the rhythm guitar's on this side. I do some funny, like, high pitched screams I try to do, which is, like, terrible. And it just keeps coming. It's just like, it's just like thrash, thrash. Black Rain. Oh, 
See, clean singing was always hard for me. Anyway, that's our trip down memory lane. Then the next thing we recorded was the Trivium Blue demo, which is actually freaking fantastic. It sounds amazing. Which would have been three piece still me, Brent, Travis. 16. That's the real tempo this song should be in. We can actually down pick it. So there you go. What's cool is none of this stuff will get uh, muted because none of it's logged as copywritten music. But yeah, that's the trip down memory lane. But this lineup that you're seeing here was a very brief lineup. This was like a couple of months. That's us at the Lake Brantley High School Auditorium. Um, but again, the original lineup was Brad, Jared, Travis, and a guy named Matt, who was my best friend's older brother. They never practiced. He left. I asked. I got asked to try out after my eighth grade talent show. Tried out, made it in. And then Brad left after like a couple months. And then it was the three of us plus Brent on rhythm guitar. And then Jared left. And then Brent went to bass. <sighs> Then what happened? Then we had George Moore from the Autumn Offering play for like a couple of weeks. Another guy from some other band. Uh, and then we traded off with different people on bass and different people on rhythm guitar. Bass player of Monstrosity played bass for us for a little while. While Brent was on rhythm guitar, I think? Was that right? Yeah. Um, and then Mike left. Then we had Paulo and Corey. No, we had Corey, Travis, Mike from Monstrosity, and myself. So when people talk about like lineups and stuff, it's like if someone was around for a week or a month or two months or three months, that's not very long. We've even had drummers since being professional have only been around for nine months, which isn't a very long time. So that was Matt's trip down 